Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we created an API endpoint into RELS app to update the likes and dislike count and tested this API using the Postman. Now, in this lecture, we will be sending the API call from the read component to RELS. Okay, and we need to do some changes for that into our question detail component. So open the question detail component first. Okay, so let's switch to the project directory. Okay, and here you can see that this is the question detail component and now you can see that we set the initial value of our state and dislike sorry like count and dislike count state variable as zero okay now we need to update the initial values okay we will set this initial value to likes count and dislike counts of a question okay which is stored in the database and here you can see that we are getting the question as a props into our question detail component so what we can do here so we can do simply this dot props dot question and then is the props dot question dot likes count okay likes count sorry it is likes count okay now you can do the same thing for dislike count as well so replace the zero by pro this dot props dot question dot dislikes count okay now if you save this and refresh your browser okay so here you can see that right now we are saying no like count and dislike count okay and if you update this now okay so you can see that uh, the question one has two likes okay and the question one has six dislikes okay so now if you inspect this element okay and go to the console here you can see that we got the array of 19 elements and if you check the first element then you can see that dislike count is six and likes count is two okay and now similarly you can check the second question that is with question with id 2 and here you can see dislike count is 1 and likes count is 2 okay now you can try since we have only two questions that have likes and dislikes value uh, more than 0 in the database or into the question table right now so what we can do let's switch to the postman again and here just change the id of the question into the url and you can let's say you are trying to update the count for question with id 4 okay now if you send this request again so you can see that likes count is 1 and dislike count is 0 and send this request again okay so you will see that like count is 2 now so if you click it four times then you will see the likes count is 4 now if you refresh the browser you can see that uh, first question has two likes six dislikes second question two likes one dislike third question question no like no dislike and the fourth question four dislikes and zero dislikes okay so we can see the actual values of like and discount count for each question now okay so now what we need to do we need to stop hitting this api from postman and we need to do the same thing into the question detail component okay so what we need to do first we need to implement a function which will call the api endpoint from our question detail component okay so we need to update a function so just switch to the question detail component okay and be below the update dislike counter button let's implement our function okay so we can name our function as uh, update question counter so update question counter okay and this will should be our ea6 style function so add body here now okay and this function will accept an argument okay that will be the data and this data is the same that we are using into the postman body that is count for and then we will define what is what is for whether it is like or whether it is dislike okay and the component again and we will use the fetch api for sending the put request okay so you know that uh, we implemented the fetch api into the question list component okay here you can see and we do this for oh sorry we did this for get request okay now we need to send the put request using fetch api so let's see how we can do that so we can simply use fetch okay and here let's say provide the url first okay so url will be you can just we can simply copy this url from the postman so just copy that okay and paste it into the component so remove this http and paste it here okay now we need to make this dynamic as yes, this id of the question dynamic okay so you can add a dollar here okay and then curly braces okay because this will take the 
or you can see you can say that it is the string interpolation you can provide dynamic value in using this dollar curly braces just like we do uh, with hash curly braces into the ruby so we can do this inter string interpolation into the jsx with this syntax okay so what we can provide here this dot props and then question dot id question dot id so here you can see this dot props dot question dot id okay and now we need to provide the body to this this is the url okay now we need to implement the body as well so we can provide method name is put because we are calling the put method so method put okay and then we need to set the headers okay and headers must be let's say content and content type application json or if you wish to send another header attributes or your api endpoint is expecting more headers then you can set the values here okay so for now we just need to send the content type application json okay so add this in a string so you can add content type and this should be application json Okay, and if you want to know more like uh, what uh, more possible values for holder header that can be for a request so you can switch to the postman okay and here you can see into the header that there are some you can click on the hidden so there are some values okay so we can set uh, values like this for example access token client token uid uuid whatever okay but for now we only need the content type application for this header okay and then after the headers what we need we need the body okay so this body will be body is json dot dot stringify json dot stringify and then here we need to pass the body and we are getting the body into our data argument okay so we will send this data as a body okay and now this is done so what we need to do here like you need to call if this request is done then you need to face the response okay so let's face the response okay the response.json and if response is coming then see data we need to check what is in response okay so data and then you can add let's say console.log data console.log data okay and then if it is not successful then you need to check or you need to catch the error okay so you can use this catch and here error and then just write the console dot error for console dot log error console dot log or error okay and save this so this is the function that we implemented for calling the update counter api from our rails controller okay so here you can see the this api into the rails controller first let's remove close this migration file and schema files and routes file because it does not make sense to have this right now okay so let's deal with only question list jsx and the question controller so here you can see this is the action okay and this is the action that we are using here okay and we are calling this as a put method okay but uh, let's remove this put and add the capital put and then headers and body okay and then we are checking for the response and if the response is coming then we are using as using it as data else we are just returning the error okay so this is how we can call this api rails api from the react component okay and now as the last thing we just need to call this function inside the update like counter and update dislike counter functions right after the state update okay so how we can do that so just copy this function name okay so updates question counter okay and here you can use this function as uh, this dot update question counter okay and here since we are updating the like state here okay so what we can provide as the data here so let's say count for 
account for and then let's see you can say like okay. and similarly you can do the same thing into the dislikes and where you, you need to update the count for like to dislike so you just add the value here dislike okay and save this now and make sure to call this function with this keyword only okay else this function will not work and you might get an error okay now let's save the component and come to the browser okay so save this and switch to the browser and refresh the page okay so just to go to the top and refresh this browser now click on the like button of any question and look at the terminal where the server is running so first switch to the terminal okay and make some space here and now click on the let's say click on the dislike button of the third questions okay so here you can see you got uh, one here and now if you switch to the terminal then you will see that uh, it's a uh, dislike count or the question with id third has been updated by dislike count one okay now if you click on the dislike button again you will see that its dislike count is increased now and two okay and just to check you can refresh the browser and you will see that this third question has two dislike count okay and just to make the space again on the terminal and click this like button of third question let's say six seven times and if you switch to the terminal you will see that seven requests for updating the likes count of third question is or are on rails api okay and now if you refresh the browser you will see that it is still showing the seven for the third question okay it means our api calling from the react component is working and this is what we wanted to do in this lecture okay so let's give this lecture a try at your end and if you feel stuck anywhere or if you have any doubt or any question then just let me know through the comment section we will solve this together okay so thanks for watching this and let's meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe